Hey guys, welcome back. Today I've got something pretty nifty. Uh, it's a guardian farm. Um, yeah. So I know there's like a lot of different designs out there and whatnot. I just wanted to put in my two cents on the design. And it's kind of a pretty neat combination of an item farm and an XP farm. So, obviously there's no temple around. This is my test map. But... I'm not really focused on how you're going to funnel the guardians. I'm just focused on how you're going to kill them. So, I guess I'll just explain what I got going on here. So, first of all, we have our item farm. I'm going to turn down the volume of those pistons real quick because they're pretty loud. Okay. So, first we got our item farm. And this is, you know, if people are in the area, but... You know, they're, they don't want any XP, they're just outside elsewhere, and the chunk is loaded. And this way, when the Guardians spawn, you know, it, it's constantly killing them, and you're not going to get a bunch of lag um, from like hundreds of Guardians waiting to be killed. So, when they, uh, when they get funneled into wherever, come down here into this little, this little stream. And they'll go down this stream into the lava hit the web and then they'll finish burning and dying in the web and then their items will drop into this water stream and the reason I left this water here is in case you wanted to make like an item sorter which is what I plan to do when I uh, build this in my survival world so you'll have like this water stream going and then you have a bunch of different item sorters putting them all into different chests and then f say like everything is full and there's just so many items you can have like an item like a cactus over here to get rid of all the extra items anyway so that can take you know as many guardians as you can throw at it uh, pretty cool so then if you want XP you hit the lever and it switches the uh, the flow up there so it blocks off the item part opens up the XP part and this doesn't have to be a lever I'm thinking about making it a a um, pressure plate that way the person is required to be present in the in the farm so that way you can't just accidentally leave the lever down and have mobs gathering here they'll actually have to be present but for this example it's a lever so anyway we got a few parts here so they'll flow down into this little chamber here and when that gets nice and full this top part is going to close it's going to suffocate them for a certain amount of time so that they just have like half a heart left. And you can punch them to kill them. Or use a splash potion of harming or whatever you want. And so it's going to hold that there. Let them fall. And then restart. And then they're all going to be bouncing around down here. You just punch them and they die. You can have your different item collector too. Whatever you want. I was thinking maybe you could also make it into like a water stream. Have it going and that way you could sort items too that fall. If you wanted to do that too. But anyway. Uh, so how this works. First of all this is. Uh, this is a switching mechanism. It's just. Uh, oops. Take that down. So basically it's just. When one's on the other's off. Pretty simple stuff. Um, so that's how you. Uh, switch between the two farms. And. The other part is a combination of a hopper timer and an ABBA switch. So we have items in here, and those are going back and forth. And when one is empty and the other is full, these uh, this redstone block will switch. And you put enough items in here so that the time it takes for it to switch is just enough time so that the guardians are almost dead. And that's kind of the secret here. So from design to design, design to design, the amount of items in here is going to change. And you just kind of have to tweak it. But anyway, when that little redstone block here moves over, it's going to power this this uh, iron block right here. And immediately, it's going to like um, get inverted and then open up like these pistons. And also, it's going to take a little time to get there, and then it's going to close this. And so that's kind of what we got going on here. If we watch it, you'll notice that this top part 
closes and then this one closes and then when it's done it opens up and then that opens up and also this torch right here is the top piston it sends a little bit of a pulse down to this bottom one so that it uh, goes back or it, it holds it open it holds it closed while it's filling up anyway you, you kind of get what I'm saying here so that's pretty much how it works now there's also I want to mention there's a few different ways of doing this top piston here you could also if you wanted have a block down there and just have a updater a block updater kind of depends whatever route you want to go they both work so yeah anyway so let's go ahead and fire this thing up and I'll show you with a few like few guardians at first and we'll uh then we'll turn on that clock there and see how it works so we'll put in a few guardians these guys are gonna start burning hit that web and yeah pretty pretty easy to see how it works and the items are all gonna stick in that web so it takes a little bit for the items to start coming out but they're there once that guy dies, yeah, see they're just floating there. So when we turn on the XP part, so these guardians are gonna flood down into here, and also it stays open for the same amount of time that it takes to kill the guardians. So you got a nice long time for like a bunch of guardians to build up in the chamber. So you can get a lot of guardians killed at the same time which is pretty nifty watch these guys and the more guardians you have in there the more are gonna get caught in that they're kinda being stupid right now wow what a jerk anyway so they're gonna get smoshed and smashed destroyed for however long it takes and I have this water source block here to make sure they don't take any fall damage. And then you hit them. And that's it. You can also throw like a splash potion of harming on them. That'll do the trick too. So yeah. Now let's turn it on and we'll show you what it's capable of. First we'll do the uh, item. So you can start see how many of them just go through there yeah so it's, it can handle quite a bit I'll put him on the XP one now and you know for what it does it's a pretty small space so I'm, I'm happy with how compact it is you can see all my other like tries to do it too I've got a bunch this is my third attempt at it and I think it's working pretty well. So, I don't know if you can hear me right now through that sound, but it's pretty nasty. And they're all there. And you can just kill them all. Throw your potion. And then, yeah. Collect, collect the goods. So, I hope you guys liked it. And uh, leave a comment, leave a like, let me know. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.